Hey, how's it going? I've been monetized for a year now and before I was I found it very interesting to watch what other creators are earning, what was their journey, how long it took them to get there and what was working for them, what wasn't. Maybe I'm nosy but I know that a lot of people are as well and for that reason I decided to make a video of my own where I talk about what worked for me, what I've learned over the years and how much I earned from being monetized on my first year. I will leave timestamps down below so in case you want to get to a specific point in the video you can just skip right to it. So let's start with how I got here and how I started YouTube channel in general. So in February 2021 I published my very first video. It was called what it's really like to live in Barcelona and I tried to provide as much information as possible in that one video. Video itself was not great. I didn't know what to do in front of the camera, what angle to use, what is the strengths of my phone that I used at the time, but it was informative. I provided a lot of information as I planned. I wrote a script for weeks to get to the point where I was happy with it. So it seems like a lot of people really liked that video and it's still one of the most watched videos on my channel. The main reason why I wanted to make that video was because I myself moved to Barcelona a year before that and I couldn't find a lot of great information online. Of course there were some videos and blogs I, I found online, I just didn't find them extremely useful. A lot of them were focused mainly on tourism while I wanted to move and live there. At the time I didn't have a clear vision of what I want my YouTube channel to be and that was actually one of the problems I had when I wanted to start YouTube before. I would get into this rabbit hole where I would go through a bunch of videos teaching you how to start YouTube. A lot of them would focus uh, finding the right niche, gear, etc. And I would be just so overwhelmed before I even started shooting the video that I would just be like, okay, I, I cannot actually do that. So that was my attempt in 2021 to just start. Basically don't have a clear idea, clear path. Do it! So that's basically how I started and, and I will go through year by year as I as I continued making those videos. But let's first talk about what you actually need to get monetized on YouTube. So you need 1000 subscribers and then either 4000 watch hours uh, during period of 12 months or 10 million shorts views within 90 day period. And I'm not going to go to other low level detail. There are other requirements that you should be posting original content and you shouldn't have any strikes on your channel. So with that in mind, on my very first year on YouTube I posted 35 long form videos and I, I was learning a lot. In retrospect I wish I experimented a bit more. I was mostly posting Barcelona type of videos and I tried to get into more of a travel niche and more like sports related niche. Uh, it didn't really happen. Uh, most of my running videos that I was doing at the time, uh, they didn't go anywhere and I actually already have them unlisted from my channel right now. Basically what I was doing at the time, I was getting ready for half marathon. I've never done half marathon and I was documenting that journey how I got there. It didn't really work out and most of my audience wasn't really interested in that. I did make a video at the end of achieving that goal and, and making a longer video about the whole preparation and it actually bombed. I put a lot of effort and time into that video so it kind of hurt a bit but uh, needless to say at the time I was struggling a lot with finding the good composition on the video, uh, having a good audio, uh, shooting at the times when it looks better, being on camera, all of that you kind of have to learn at the beginning and I didn't have those skills at the time. And I'm not saying that I have them now I'm still learning but at the time it was complete beginner level and it showed. Towards the end of the year I made quite a few videos that were Barcelona related and they are still some of the best performing videos on my channel which sort of increased the amount of subscribers and views and watch hours I was getting for that year. So if we look at analytics during this period uh, between 2021 February and 2022 January I got 
almost 44,000 views, uh, close to 3,000 watch hours and 332 subscribers. My top performing videos were what it's really like to live in Barcelona, which got 30,000 views. And basically that video alone was carrying my channel. And that's where I got most of my subscribers from and views. And another four videos were Barcelona travel guide that I made, cost of living in Barcelona, talking about the language and my day in life, which all of those later on didn't even account for, you know, like a fraction of the my most performing video. A lot of those videos are not public anymore. I put them into private. I wasn't too proud of them. Uh, they were still experimental. I, I was learning how to use a camera, how to edit, etc. However, towards the end of the year, I bought myself a new iPhone 13. And when we went with my girlfriend to Rome, uh, I shot a video, which I called something like iPhone 13 cinematic video in Rome or, or something close to that. And Sandmark company for uh, mobile cinematography. They have a lot of gadgets for mobile phones. They offered me to send an ND filter if I'm going to make a video very similar to the Rome video, but in Barcelona. So I started 2022 very excited with some expectation that some of the Sandmark audience will notice the video and they might come into this channel as well. And that didn't really happen. Sandmark forgot or they didn't include me in the video that they posted on their channel. So essentially from my perspective, nothing has changed. Video got like 200 views or something like that. So throughout 2022, I posted 21 uh, long form videos and 20 shorts. At the time I was doing daily vlog uh, on TikTok. That's why I got those 20 shorts. Most of them were just day in my life. Honestly, when I uploaded all of them on YouTube shorts, what happened was not that I was getting more subscribers, I was losing them because it wasn't necessarily at the time something I was doing. And I think that the mistake I have done was upload like seven or 10 videos in one day. So if anybody had notifications, you just got 10 notifications from my channel alone. Not a great thing, you probably shouldn't do that. So throughout 2022, I got almost 77,000 views, 4,800 watch hours and 546 subscribers. I still didn't hit my 1,000 subscriber mark and my watch hour time was way above 4,000 mark. My top performing content was still what it's really like to live in Barcelona, where to live in Barcelona, which got 15,000 views, tips for moving to Barcelona, how to find a job in Barcelona, and another video that was slightly different, which was about the trip to Lithuania with my girlfriend. So I started 2023 with 875 subscribers, and my watch hours were already at the point where I could apply for YouTube Partner Program. But I wanted to focus a bit more on the quality of the videos, also on the subject that people cared on my channel. And with that, a couple of things happened. Uh, so I managed to get to the point where I could monetize my channel and a reporter from Esquire Korea reached out to me asking if I would like to do the interview. Uh, they were writing an article about people living abroad for five specific cities and they picked me, which was amazing. I basically gave a short written interview. It was a great experience. Person that was interviewing me was super nice. They posted it on the website and they sent me a hard copy of Esquire magazine. I still have it. It's awesome. So it seems like a lot of things happened towards March all at the same time. I managed to monetize the channel and that interview went off. I think it was like 16th of March as well. So from here, I think it's a good time to go into analytics and go month by month how much I started earning at the beginning and how much I was earning throughout the year and to get to the sum total of of the whole year and how much I earned during my first year. In March, I published three videos. Very first day when I got monetized, which was March 3rd, I got 38 cents. The highest paying day was 1 euro 40 cents. For that month, I earned 23 euros and 88 cents. And just for the record, when I saw that I'm getting those 38 cents, the feeling was amazing. After making videos for two years and not earning a single cent from it, seeing that amount was something like a miracle. The feeling was probably even better than getting your very first paycheck at your very first job. If we go to April, normal day would be around one euro 
and the highest payday was 1 euro 34 cents. In April, I posted only one video, which might have affected the number of views I've got and in return might have affected the, the revenue that I've got on that month. Uh, so for the whole month, I earned 27 euros and 40 cents. Then in May, something happened with my AdSense account and it was disabled. If your AdSense account is disabled, it means that you cannot monetize your channel. I had to resubmit my documents that I submitted before. I think it took Google a day or two to finalize checking those documents and I could continue being monetized. So in May, I posted two videos. Most earning day was one euro 68 cents and the lowest day was zero cents because I was demonetized. Grand total for me was 28 euros and 16 cents which was a bit better than the last month even though I was demonetized for a few days. Then going into June I was regularly earning around a euro a day and my best day was one euro 70 cents uh, that month I got 33 euros and 25 cents. I posted just two videos, but I was focusing on uh, posting a bit of a longer form videos that month. Mostly they were vlogs, potentially my watch time was increasing a little bit. But at the same time, if you're making a video that is longer than eight minutes, there is an ad that you can put in the middle. That means that the revenue increases slightly. So that's probably why you can see a slightly higher revenue that month. Then going to July, uh, my best performing day was 2 euros 41 cents and the worst day was uh, 58 cents. Total in July I made 35 euros and 37 cents. I posted only one short and one video that month and you kind of start to notice that there is gaps in my posting schedule during this period. And it's nothing to do with the revenue itself that I was getting. The main issue that I hit at the time was I didn't know what type of videos I want to continue creating. At that time specifically, I felt like I was thinking more on what I should be creating rather than creating and, and trying things out. So maybe that's a good tip. Don't overthink stuff. Then in August, didn't post any videos. So that's something quite interesting as well because I didn't post a single video that month and I was still earning approximately similar amount that I was earning on my first month. I was getting around 1 euro a day, my best day was 1 euro 20 cents and the worst day 58 cents. Total in August I made 28 euros and 72 cents. So then in September I posted only two videos. You can kind of see the similar pattern as the last month. I was earning around a euro a day. My best day in September was 1 euro 40 cents and the worst day 50 cents. Grand total for September I made 29 euros and 72 cents. So again in October I didn't post a single video. Um, my best day that month was 1 euro 82 cents and the worst day was 53 cents. Uh, total in October I made 29 euros and 95 cents. Coming into November I posted two long form videos. One was slightly different than what I was making before uh, but I really enjoyed making that video and the other one was something more what my core audience might be interested in. In November my best performing day was uh, 3 euros and 10 cents and the worst day was 76 cents. Grand total for November I earned 34 euros and 70 cents. Then coming to December again I didn't post any videos. It seems like towards December not so many people watch YouTube or at least uh, the type of content that I was making. The highest earning day was uh, 1 euro 48 Eight cents and lowest earning day was 44 cents. Grand total for December I earned uh, 23 euros and 97 cents. So if I look at 2023 as a whole I published 21 videos, three shorts and over this year I I've got 114,000 views, 7,000 watch hours, 990 subscribers and I earned 285 euros which is Amazing. I really want to say thank you for anyone who subscribed, especially at the beginning. 
it, that's the hardest part and basically the statistic shows that it took me two years to get from zero to 1000 and and it took me around a year to get from almost 1000 to almost 2000 which just shows that progression on youtube is not necessarily linear my top performing videos for 2023 were a real cost of life in barcelona what it's really like to live in barcelona so that's the very first video i published uh, where to live in barcelona which again i published in 2021 other set of living in barcelona and five things i wish i knew before moving to barcelona then let's talk about this year um because i got monetized in march and i want to cover the whole year of being monetized so in january 2024 my best performing day was 1 euro 51 cents and the worst performing day was 68 cents the total amount i earned was 28 euros and 18 cents and in january i also didn't publish any videos coming to february this performing day in february was a 5 euros and 67 cents and the worst performing day was 60 cents. Grand total for a month, I've earned 49 euros and 95 cents, and I also published three videos. So if we look at the grand total of how much I've earned over the whole year of being monetized, uh, we have 363 euros and 78 cents. So one thing to keep in mind is that YouTube doesn't pay on daily basis or as soon as you earn money. They calculate the earnings for one month and then you get paid at the end of the month. So there is a lack of around like two months. Another thing to keep in mind is I'm based in Spain. So the threshold I have to hit is 70 euros to get paid. It accumulates and you only get paid if you earn the threshold. So for example, those months when I was earning 28 euros, they would accumulate over three months and that's when I would get paid. In different countries, uh, those thresholds are slightly different. Another important metric is CPM and RPM and essentially what it means is how much youtube pays you for 1000 views some niches get paid more and others are paid less so for example my average rpm on this channel is 3 euros and 17 cents because most of the videos i make on this channel are lifestyle or travel related some niches get paid more for example a finance niche because advertisers are willing to pay more uh, to have uh, their advertisement during your video while other videos like ASMR videos or video game videos they would get paid less uh, because those advertisers are not willing to pay that much and those numbers are noticeable I think this is a great example of high RPM video versus low RPM video five things I wish I knew before moving to Barcelona has uh, 13,000 views and best bank accounts in Spain for expats has almost 4,000 views but because of high RPM those two videos are earning almost the same amount of money that's what that's probably why we have so many finance gurus a lot of them who don't know what they are talking about but but anyway this is a topic for for another day so let's look at the videos that made the most revenue uh, this year. The top earning video for the year was Where to Live in Barcelona and it made almost 65 euros. Real Cost of Life in Barcelona was a second best performing video which earned uh, almost 51 euros and what it's really like to live in Barcelona which is very interesting that video is still getting traction and people are still watching it even though the quality is not that great but I think I noticed one thing on YouTube if the video has a lot of views people will be more willing to watch it but then you might have a video which is arguably much better might be more informative but has less views and people won't click on it it's very strange but that's the way it is and I think that that video is a great example of that the last thing I wanted to talk about is uh, some of the things over these last three years I wish I did slightly differently the one thing that I've done right off the bat was watching a lot of videos uh, that I never watched before 
and those videos are the advice on growing a YouTube channel. Even though some of those videos are useful, I feel like I would have benefited way more on my channel if I spend that time learning about cameras, uh, learning about how to make videos better, uh, editing, uh, filming more, maybe experimenting more, uh, not focusing on, on niche so much. Um, that That's one of the things that you can only see in retrospect. Um, but if there's any advice I can give, that, that would be it. Maybe focus uh, more on hard skills rather than on some generic advice that a lot of those channels give. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. And if you made it this far, you're absolute legend. And I will speak to you very soon. Bye-bye.